she put pee, put pee, put pee, put keep us a sup, see what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News. Now, people, artist topic for the longest while Donna Lee Donaldson, Noel Maitland, and Katya Ann Smith for a lesser part. However, we see, say, Mr. Noel Maitland, he has retained the services of a lawyer. That lawyer's name is Christopher Townsend. I call Christopher Townsend Bali Bali because all he does is cry and B-I-T-C-H about a whole lot of things that makes no sorts of sense. And people, he is back at it once again. Now people, we saw that CTAC investigators detective they arranged a question and answer that was supposed to be held yesterday at 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. It was held. However, the questions that the lawyer and Mr. Maitland were expecting, that was not the questions that they heard. Pretty much what the lawyer is saying is that he was questioned about obstructing police duty. So therefore, I guess he was given a whole bunch of false information trying to throw off the case the investigators like all criminal minded people do. However, this question and answer was supposed to be about the missing and possible takeaway of Donald Lee Donaldson. That was not the questions that they heard. So people, I want you to take a listen, take a look to exactly what the lawyer has to say and then I'll give my piece. We are primarily questioned about some offense of obstructing police. Apparently, she was said about um, the missing young lady. We thought that it was a grand waste of time and a grand waste of the police time. According to them, they would like to have another question and answer um, with us. Um, but I believe that we have spent sufficient time um, on these preliminary things. And so I'm not inclined to advise my client to go through another question and answer. It's one of the things that happens when um, when it is that the judiciary is, from my, from my view, manipulated into doing things because I'm sure the judge anticipated that the question and answer would have um, been conducted today, etc., etc. But no, it was a grand waste of time. Now, people, when we listen to these lawyers, it is the heights of hypocrisy. Based on what this lawyer is saying, he was surprised by the chain of events because they were expecting one thing and then pretty much get a curveball. However, people, we know that that is a tactics that is used by the system, by the poor poor. It is called delay tactics. However, there is a saying that goes, thief don't like to see thief with long bag. So therefore, whenever the table turn, these people get into them feelings. He thought that they were going to ask him about Donna Lee Donaldson. However, people, them switch it up on them. Them talk about obstruction of poor poor. And we know that the lawyer went to the court and he filed a writ of habeas corpus to get his client released or charged officially. However, the poor poor, the system first and before that, they went to the court and the court said he must be remanded for at least 10 days. So therefore, that pretty much supersede or chump over the writ. So therefore, delayed tactics once again. What this lawyer does not like for his client and himself is that he is getting a dose of his own medicine. He is getting delayed tactics used against him. He claims that the system is manipulating. Now people, isn't that ironic? Isn't that what lawyers, defense lawyers always do? The things that they do, delayed tactics, manipulate, commit all sorts of curveball, act as if they are wanting when they are the polar opposite, act as if it is all about justice when they know that it is Sykes. 
However, people, like I told you, these lawyers, they have ulterior motive. Their motive is to get that cash. Their motive is to represent a client and even when they know that this client is as guilty as sin, they are going to still act as if this man is an innocent man. This man has never done anything wrong. Now, based on what this lawyer is saying, he does not think that he is going to have a next question and answer because it is a waste of time. However, people, when it comes to these lawyers, time is money because they are paid handsomely. And until he can dry every cent out of Mr. Noel Maitland and rightfully so, he is not going to stop. Once he gets that retainer, once he gets that money, he is not going to stop with the lawyering and the liar in also. So therefore, we have to realize that, listen, when it comes to time, that is all Mr. Noel Maitland has on his hand. And I am speaking about a couple of lifetime. I am speaking about at least a life imprisonment for the missing and fear D-E-A-D -E of this lady, Donna Lee Donalds. So therefore, him have the time, so therefore make him sit down and wait. These lawyers are acting as if it is all about them and their client. And people, the truth and the fact is that there is a thin line between confidence and arrogance. In this case, this lawyer is obviously arrogant. He is showing something that he knows does not exist. However, he is trying to impress this client that he is worth every penny that he is charging him. However, people, at the end of the day, unless this system of incompetence drops the ball, this man is supposed to get life sentence even without a body because, people, there are what we call substantial evidence. There's what we call evidence that proves, witnesses, the chain of events that prove that this man is guilty as sin. So people, me just as say, the system, the popo investigators, they are making sure that they don't fumble the ball because they know say, they don't want this man to beat it on any sorts of technicality or legal mumbo jumbo, point blank and period. So people, at the end of the day, it is about Donna Lee Donaldson getting justice. It is not about this lawyer and his antics. It is not about this suspect or person of interest, Noel Maitland and Katyan. It is about Donna Lee, Donna Lee, Donna Lee. Justice for Donna Lee, point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called Barragon and these desperate youths that are living in these garrisons. And when they borrow these guns to go on any sorts of robbery, any sorts of crime, it puts a whole bunch of pressure on people. I am not trying to make any sorts of excuse. I am going to explain exactly what I am speaking about. Now, there was an incident yesterday, 48 hours ago to 24 hours ago, in which the poor poor got information that four men were robbing purses along the Florizel Glass Bowl Highway. That is a highway that leads to Arborview to the airport. Police pull up on the scene. Two of them on one bike take with themselves. Police start chase a bike with two young men. This is the first young man right here. His name is Kasa. The next young man, his name is Boki. During that chase, they lost control of the bike at Bayshore Park, close to the entrance right there. So, Popo blaze up, Boki, Boki flat out, Boki lost his life, gone to never never land. The next one, Kasi, him try run, jump in a sea, when him realize him can't swim, him come back, turn back, hands in the ear, him also get caught up in the foot or the hand. He made it. So people, Boki lose him life upon the spot. Boki get about eight piece, almost a half of the family bucket. Now people, what persons notice is that when Casa was on the ground and the poor poor them surround him, handcuff and all, couldn't move. 
he was talking a whole bunch of gibberish, a whole bunch of foolishness. Him a ball, fim liar, him a ball, pretty much demanding the popo them for take him to the hospital. However, we know so the popo they are good on delay tactics. So people, two get away, two get caught up, lose control of the bike, one lose a life, next one taken to KPH. So people remember, when he was there, I played that video, that is the video before this one. He might talk a whole bunch of garbage. You have to wonder if he's a madman and people. I said in that video, it seems as if when these people act like them bad and then them hear all sorts of can I come from the popo and see them friend flat out, they get instantly mad. However, people, the madness did not stop there. He was taken to the KPH lucky for himself. However, while he was there, he was complaining how the popo blaze up him friend, how him never do nothing, how the popo them should not carry him to the place of recovery a long time and him want him lawyer and if him did follow him mind, he would not have left his house because he is a businessman. He has a whole lot of money. People, based on the information that I am getting, he was speaking a whole bunch of gibberish. He was contradicting and conflicting himself. Now people remember I said that the topic is borrow gun. People pretty much, these gunmen, these shutters, these down at the era, these persons are from Swallowfield. Them lend you the gun, you tell them say I go on a mission. Then lend you the gun and say, all right, more X amount of dollar or X percentage. Don't know the details, was not there. So therefore, when you take this gun, you can come back now and tell the people them, say, listen, not no work out or else it might not work out for your life. The people them don't want any sorts of excuse or any sorts of brother to come on, brother Nancy story. So therefore, when these youths go out there, them know, say, them have a bingo, or if them not bingo, they might lose them life also. So people, them under pressure and people, I am not making any sorts of excuse. So therefore, them know so them have to deliver because them have a tool to pay for whether anything go on or not, they are going to owe the banker, the bookie. So anyways, people, like me say, Casa him pretty much get mad out after the poor poor whole lamp on them. And the madness continue when he went to KPH, Kingston Public Hospital. However, the next individual that was not so fortunate, Mr. Buki, his government name is Galloway. O.C. Buki, O.C. Malik. Here's the thing about Buki or Malik. He was just in front of the court for possession of an imitation firearm. So people... That is where this Baragon comes into play. Now people, what he did not know is that, listen, if you get hold with a real firepiece or an imitation firepiece, are the same thing because intention is the same. So therefore, he was out on condition of bail and then pretty much, fair fake tool, pretty much lose him life with a real tool because the Popo recovered a .380 revolver. So people, one fake tool, one real tool. One person made it, one did not make it. However, people, like I told you yesterday, Mr. Boki was also the suspect in the takeaway of a young man during Alkaline's New Rule concert. He tried to rob somebody and people, it seems as if the person put up some sorts of resistance and that person lost his life. So therefore, karma came back and it caught him point blank and period so people the moral of the story is this all of you young youths out there with aspirations of being stick up kids bike robber this is going to be your destination destination doom so people out of the four two of them get catch one lose them life one injured pretty much a mad out now people what is even more sadder about the situation is that this youth when he am casa where you sleep on the picture him just have a young youth. Not him have the baby itself. However, him girlfriend or baby mother just have a baby. So people, what is the future for this child? What is the future for Casa? Buki is already gone. The other two more than likely for them called soon call up. 
However, it looks bleak for these people in the garrison that decide that, listen, me no want to walk, I want money the easy way, I want to stick up people, I want to rob people for their belongings. However, people like them say, justice or karma, it is always going to catch up on you, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.